Wow, what a beautiful city. It's amazing walking around here. And so we got to hurry and make it to this tour. We got a beer tour at 3.30. So it's going to be beer. I got one donut with me, the Oreo donut. And we got some apricots. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, so it's time to check out this little, little place. Wow. It's called Povav. Varsky Dumb. All right, let's go check it out. I'm learning the pronunciations here. One, two, three, four. I know what boys like. My name is Giovanni. To take really the, the barley from the field. The make, if, you, if you visit here in Czech Republic, they, they still have a lot this of This is what they make stout with. A lot of old breweries that still have their malt trees. Usually they don't they oh, don't use so that, good. Much, that much anymore because the malting process usually you have maltries that make a hundred thousand tons. So the breweries they they, they usually don't do it. I know some breweries that here in Czech Republic they still do it, but it's not really. But do you have like a main distributor, sort of like wine or something mm. in Germany? Yeah, it's we, so good. we have some small maltries. We usually take malt from Bruntau, it's a city nearby. Oh, that light one really tasted malty. Uh, from the, the thing that part of the bed, that's what I want. At the end of the process, like, I just want to make it. I don't know why. It's the right ass I don't think anyone is gonna wanna be in the brew house right now for more than a couple of minutes because it's really hot in there. Uh, it's worth it for the beer. <laughs> it's the brew house. Wow. Shit, it just started bubbling like it was angry. Oh shit, the brew house is really hot. <laughs> it smells so good. I can smell that malt. That's oh. God. It makes me just want to drink whatever hot beer they have. <laughs> oh my God! You can see it in there. Oh man, that beer looks angry. That's some angry beer in there. Oh my god. They said don't touch. I'm not touching. That is boiling hot. That's boiling like in there. I don't know. It's not boiling, but it's, it's, it's close to that. Oh my god, the fermentation room is just... It just puts me in the mood. Oh man, that's, that just smells so good. It looks to me like a lemon meringue pie. That I just want to devour. <laughs> Makes me think of a rice pudding with lots of cinnamon on top. Ooh. We're told not to touch, and I'm sure I'm not even supposed to be breathing on it. I can only inhale, no exhale. <laughs> God, that smells good. Oh. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny is the brew house is like a sauna here, so it's like you know you can you could go from the the, the hot sauna over into the cold room here. Yeah. Oh, man, it's steaming. There's been days where I had 52 degrees oh. there, and it's 3 degrees in here. Oh man, that's nice. The whole, the, the whole difference in temperature like that, going back and forth, is it's healthy. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like an Ostrava sauna here. And then they got the cold room. I'm going to be charged for it afterwards. I would totally pay for this spa. Totally, totally right, though. <laughs> Beer spa. Oh, that's good. oh my goodness. These are all different ages. I'm getting Ooh. high. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. It's, it's so cool. There's three different rooms, three different temperatures, and to see this experience is just it's emotional. You know, I just I just get all emotional with this. 
Okay. It's just beer. But uh, since taking it from the tank, I don't have a compensator for the pressure, so the beer foams a lot. That, that's just it. It's, it's just normal beer. Only that it foams a lot. Okay, got it. Got it. The foam, just take it off. Skim it from the top. Even though... So, so his, his wife's about to deliver a baby and he, here he is giving us a beer too. I, ju I just gotta say thank you for giving us your no time problem. like that. No problem. Uh, so I'm j I just know that once she gives birth, I'm gonna be out for a while. So I have to brew it now so we have beer. Beer comes first, right? Not first, but Be beer comes first. Plenty <laughs> goes first. <laughs> <laughs> Beer does come first. Oh. Beer comes first. Foam. I should have taken another jar. <laughs> I'm gonna. But there's beer at the bottom. Oh my god, that is really delicious. Beer at the bottom. Yeah, she doesn't have a thinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have What beer is this? This is a lager. It's a 13 degree half dark beer. Half dark. All right, lager. Actually, this mm. style is very Czech. Uh, mm. Man, freshness. Mm. I could drink a whole gallon of that. This one is okay. It's smoked mouth. Yeah. All right. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some black in me. Oh whoa. It tastes like smoky. It, it tastes kind of like a like a beef jerky, kind of like straight, like on a road trip in Oklahoma. That's what it tastes like. And you and you stop at the at the gas station and get some beef jerky. That's what this is. I like the first one the best. Ooh, that's so good. It tastes kind of fishy, a little bit like Lefroig whiskey. And you but it's good. Whoa! Thank you, brewmaster. If I could love a man, he he'd be it. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I love this. I taste. love that man. <laughs> I love this beer. This is really good beer. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Ostrava knows it's beer. And they drink the most beer of anyone in the whole world. Check beer. <laughs> Yeah, so Giovanni, he prepared one more sample for us, you know, and then we will go to one more place where, where we have to, unfortunately, have to do more beer tasting. So that, that's the way it is. <laughs> Everyone loves beer. <laughs> He's our leader. Well, the brewmaster went back maybe for more beer. I always have to keep track of him. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, he's the, like the key to the beer, so. <laughs> There's a password. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, that was good. Whew. No. Not my favorite, though. I like it black. No. This is so nice here. I just love it down there, doesn't it? You know what's amazing is right by the table is where they're brewing the. It was where they're brewing the beer. Right there. It's hot. It's like a sauna down there. I'm loving that. Okay, well, we gotta go. Next brewery. Hello. Bye bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. At the turn of the 90, 19th and 20th century, this was the Austrian Empire. And Ostrava was the city with the highest alcohol consumption in the whole of the Habsburg monarchy. Yeah? <laughs> with the coal miners and with the workers, you know, having fun in the pubs. That was their family, because they didn't have any, you know, family. They were coming here as young men.
to, to work here uh, as, as coal miners. It was easy to, to uh, set up and uh, uh, open a brewery here because you, you had an easy source, a quick source of all this uh, uh, stainless steel and iron. Yeah? And you had a quick source uh, of, uh, of the fuel, of the, of the black coal, yeah? so you could make uh, beer easily. And there was this demand, so it, it was, you know, going. Uh, it's yeah, that, yeah, that was the that was the circle of life. We're on to Happy Dog Pub. Happy Dog Pub. That's a happy dog who gets to drink beer. <laughs> I correct you. Happy dog. Happy dog. Okay, with an O. Happy dog. I'm a happy dog. Be happy. Happy dog brew. Happy dog pub. Happy dog. Which one is which one is it? Uh, it's a lazy dog. It's a lager. Uh, <laughs> about f uh, near five percent of alcohol. Five percent lager. Okay. Yeah. I'm drinking too early. I gotta wait. The foam has to go down a little bit. <laughs> Just a minute. So, uh, how do I say yes? How do I say yes in, in Czech? Ano. 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 Okay, and what, what about da? Da, it's the same, uh, but it's... Uh, it's Russian. It's Russian, yeah. <laughs> it's Russian. I'm not trying to speak Russian here, but but if I say... What, 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 what about super? I hear people say... Zupa, Zupa, Zupa. What? Zupa. 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 Yeah. It means super. It's oh, super. Polish Czech, uh, basically. <laughs> yeah. Which is which is used quite a lot because we are on the border. Ah, uh, okay. So this is like a slang Polish mixed language here. That means super. So I'm gonna say zupa. <laughs> oh man. I'm a happy dog right now. Oh man, what, what are you drinking? This is Black Hole Sun, the anniversary of, uh, well, sadly, the deceased uh, Chris Cornell from Sound Garden. A nice, harfy, black beer to celebrate. Well, Yes. Cheers. Cheers to you, Chris Cornell. We miss you. We miss you. And actually, that's really that's really cool because a black beer totally totally fits for Black Hole Sun. And he always had really black kind of kind of songs too. So I feel that. Grungy beer. Yeah. <laughs> grunge beer. If beer ever ever had a grunge style, it's gonna be this one, Black Hole Sun. Okay. You need to try this one. Okay, this one's for Chris. Oh, thank you. What's your name? David. David. Thank you, David. I can let the foam go down. Just a minute. Okay, guys. So, how much is a pint? Uh, it's about. It's forty crowns for a beer. Forty crowns. That, wow, that's a deal. That's like, that's like two dollars for a beer. It's high quality. Thank you guys. I love this place. We're going forward. Wow. He, he said that's an IPA, and that is like that's like IPA on steroids. Like that's like a that's a black IPA right there. That's not a stout at all. That's totally bitter, but black and rich. 
It's got like a grape, like a black grapefruit. Can you imagine a black grapefruit? That's what it would be. <laughs> The good thing about Czech Republic is cheap alcohol, but quality alcohol. <laughs> I totally agree. It's like cheaper, but it's really high quality. I mean, it's not like it's not like crappy beer. Every place I've been going, it's been like really good, good, good stuff. Thank you, Czech. Thank you, Ostrava. And Opava, and all the cities here. I guess I'll sleep well tonight. I got pretty wasted yesterday, so I don't want to sober up. <laughs> Hair of the dog. Drink more, it helps with the hangover. That's what they say. It doesn't help with it, it just pushes it towards a future date. <laughs> it pushes it till tomorrow. And that's what matters. I can never sober up because the accumulated hangover would kill me, probably. That's really black. There's got to be some vitamins in there, that's for sure. At least one. One vitamin. I really want to find some like punk and like metal here in, in Ostrava. You know, any, you know any place? Yeah, the Barak Club. Also, they yeah. have brilliant uh, bands and all of, uh, from Barak. all over here. B A R R A K. Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, cool, cool. What kind of music do you like? I mainly listen to uh, progressive metal and punk and so on, but for the last few years I did fall in love with Korean pop. It's fucking awesome. What? <laughs> it's fucking great. Because what? Because the western pop is so fucking boring. It's so dark and edgy and whatever. <laughs> Korean pop is still like fun and... Like, yeah, do, do, do you like to go gang Gangnam style? Now that's that, that, that's, that, that's that's not cool, right? Yeah, okay. No. Um, what's your favorite K-pop uh, band? What's your favorite K-pop band? Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher. Yes. It's gonna catch your dreams and like and like and just just do what he wants with them, right? They are kind of into rock a little bit. Like they have like some J-pop, uh, some Japanese pop influences. So it's not completely, but uh, yeah. Oh awesome. man, that is so cool! My, that, that my favorite band of all time. I can't believe I found this this Czech, you know, like guy <laughs> pouring beer who likes K-pop. That is incredible. That's 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 very special. I mean, really special. Gotta, that's what happens when you meet people. You gotta respect <laughs> that. You respect his, his, his music taste, you know? K-pop. Who doesn't love K-pop? Maybe not you, but but he does. Well, what's your favorite K-pop song? Uh, definitely... Oh god, that's nice. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go say, I'm gonna say Goodnight from Dreamcatcher. Goodnight from already, Dreamcatcher. But there's so many. <laughs> Can you do any K-pop dancing? No. Can you try? No. Can you try? No. No? No? That he needs be, more, he needs that more beer. Be so awkward. <laughs> Come on, just try. Just no, try. No, no. Definitely not. <laughs> go Gangnam Style. Are you, are you going to go Gangnam Style on me? No. He's not going to, alright. Uh, hopefully that's not something sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more beer. Local chips right here. Local. Homemade chips. Extra oily, but delicious. Do you, do you like K-pop too? No. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so my name is Martin Sleej. Yeah, so thank you very much. Hope you like the tour. And bye-bye. Round and round we go, losing self-control. I keep telling myself. Happy dog, I will be back. <laughs> it's not a happy dog, it's hoppy dog. And I'm a happy dog. Okay, so n now uh, in, the, in the historical center of Ostrava, Ostrava, I will take you to the Stodoni street, which is uh, the party street here in Ostrava. Ostrava people are so nice, you know, like 
I just came from Prague, and I, and I, I thought it's beautiful. It's amazing in Prague, but they're just different here. Like people are so nice. Like they I'm they're, they're friendly and smiling, and you know, in Prague, a foreigner is like a dime a dozen. They're everywhere, but here, yeah, it's different. It's like really local and friendly. It's like you're in a small town, but you're not. You know, Ostrava people, they, they are like, what you see is what you get. Sometimes uh, they um, look like frowning or not, not, not being in the best mood. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I've but had some of that. Yeah, but they are honest, you know. Yeah. They, they, uh, if they don't want to, they will not smile at you, you know. That's all right. It kind of reminds me of my hotel check-in. <laughs> she don't want to smile, fine, whatever. But she gave me a good room, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> that, 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 you put it perfectly. <laughs>